Hello Xer Solutionist. Welcome back to my channel. In this video is about Q and form with timer vents. This is the sample output. This is the form interface of queuing form. We have a button and two labels. That will show our queue value list. We have created a class. It has using your import collection generics because we are using queue collection. Name space name is queuing form. The class named is cashier class. We have initialized variables. Private access modifier and data type name is x. Public static access modifier string data type name as get number q is equal to null. Public static access modifier q list string data type name as cashier q. We have created a class method overload. Inside of it, declared variable name x is equal to 10,000. Then cashier q is equal to new cashier q list. We have created a string return type name cashier generate number method with a parameter of string dot dot type name as cashier number inside of it. We declared variable x to increment by 1. Then cashier parameter is equal to cashier x value and return the value of cashier number. So this is our main form queuing form class. Also, it has an MA space name as queuing form. We have instantiated our class cashier class cashier. We create a constructor for cashier and window form name is CWF. And for customer view name is next queue. This is the main method. Inside of it, we have initialized an instance of a cashier. Then we have created an event button on with name BTM cashier click. Inside of it, is level queue is equal cashier class method name cashier generate number with string printed p slash and value of x. Then we call the class cashier class and its declared variable name get number is equal to label Q. The value of this code is p slash 10001. Then we call class the cashier class and our declared Q name is cashier Q to and Q rad with a parameter of cashier class get number and Q. Then show the form of CWF. The value of this code will be p slash 10001. If the button clicked again the value of the Q will be p slash 10002. So why? Because we have incremented the value of x so if it use it will increment or add one. So the function of this form is to enqueue add data to our queue list. Now let's go to our cashier and window queue form class. Also it has an MA space queuing form. We have initialized the timer name as a timer. We have initialized a constructor for our class cashier class name as cashier. We have created an instance for customer view form name as next queue. This is the main method of the form. Then we instantiate the cashier class and next queue constructor to the main method. Then we initialize timer.start to start the timer. Then we create event button on click name as btn refresh. Inside of it, we declared the method name as display cashier queue with parameter of class cashier class dot queue cashier queue. Then we have initialized timer interval of timer as one second. Then we add a timer ticker event handler as btn refresh event. This is when the timer will start by clicking this button event. Then we have create a method names display cashier queue with a parameter of i and cashier list. We declared the list cashier queue list to be wide and to clear. Then condition check for each object is in cashier list parameter. Add all the object to list cashier queue items list view. The function of this method is this. The value of the method will be the object list of our queue. We have also created a button event on click for btm next click. Inside of this to show the form next queue or the customer view form. Then we will take or remove the first list in cashier class cashier queue list. Then we have also created a form load event. So this will occur automatically if the form is loaded or shown. So with the same code to the refresh button event. So the function of this form is to show automatically the list and deep from the queue list. Now let's go to our customer view form. 
Also it has an MA space name queuing form. Then we initialize, timer name is timer. We have initialize cashier class name as cashier. This is the main method of the form. Inside of it, we instantiate the cashier class. And timer.start. We have created a form load event. Its code is same as with the previous form load event but different function. Display cashier queues with a parameter of class cashier class dot cashier queue list. Timer enters one second, the timer tick event is equal to next queue form load. Then we have a method display cashier queues with parameter of a variable name is cashier list. Then for each object is in cashier list. Next queue is equal to peak from queue list. So the function of the form is to automatically peak from queue list in every after the queue. For you to understand it more let's run our program. So this is the sample flow of data. Cashier button event will end queue to our queue list while automatically displaying at the level. Then show the form of cashier window queue and display automatically the queue list to the list view. Then the next button event will show the form customer view while the queuing from queue list and display automatically the peak queue list. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.